somewhat of a surprise release, Apple just dropped the fourth beta of Watch OS 11.1, and we have it installed on our Apple Watch Ultra 2, and we're gonna take a quick look at this. I have a good feeling about this, simply for the fact that Beta 3 was actually very, very stable, and battery worked out very well for this, that this could be one of the last betas that we will receive for 11.1. Now, if you guys follow the channel, we did just drop our iOS 18.1 Beta 6 video, indicating that, that that had an A build number, signifying that that very well could be the final beta build for iOS. Let's see if it's the same for watchOS. Let's go. Okay, so watchOS 11.1 .1 Beta 4 just finished installing, and I have a feeling this will be a quick video for you guys today. Usually on the fourth beta of watchOS, there's not a lot new that will come up here, it should just be more stability improvements. So as you can see, notifications are coming through perfectly fine. Watch update just completed here, and we are good to go. So let's dismiss that and do the first call out here, checking out the settings app, going under general, and actually seeing what this build number is. So like I said in the intro, if you followed along and saw our watch OS and now before iOS video, you will know that was an A build, and sure enough, here it is. We do have an A build here as well. What's very interesting here is there were some delays and debates last week with the re-release of Beta 3 being an F build, but Apple showing it as a B build. Here we go, all that's put to rest here, and we finally have that A build that signals this very well could be the final beta for watchOS 11.1. So that is definitely great to see. Let's try to hop around in the apps really quick. And as you would anticipate, everything seems to be moving around as smoothly as you would imagine. So definitely not looking too terrible here from a performance standpoint in a very limited setting. Aside from that, one of the big things that I know a lot of people could be excited about is sleep apnea detection, and I'm going to go ahead and just show you exactly what to look for if that's something you're interested in setting up. So what you're gonna do, you wanna go to your health app, and as you can see here, we had already opened it up prior, but with a watch running the latest beta, so beta four, and iOS 18.1 beta six, you now can actually see sleep apnea notifications. So it says you can receive a notification if Apple Watch identifies signs of sleep apnea. It's a pretty serious medical condition, so it is always good to see Apple being very front of mind with all of these health issues with their watches and other devices. So you can now get this set up and be able to follow that right in the health app. So I know we will be setting this up ourselves. Just wanted to let you all know to be aware of it and all that. I think the biggest call out that a lot of people are gonna be asking is when this should be released. And since we are on the 7th of October already, there has been rumors that Apple will be releasing iOS 18.1 on October 28th. And if that is the case, obviously we would think watch OS 11.1 will come out at the same time, which means we could possibly get another beta next week, or if we don't, on the week of October 21st, we could receive the RC or release candidate of this build, and that will mean the final version will come out on the 28th to the general public. Not too long from now, not too far away. As we said this whole time in regards to watchOS though, for all of you that watch, it's a stagnant update, right? There's not too much new to this. There's nothing new for the pinch notifications and tap gestures, double tap gestures that you can go into and always mess around with. That is all going to now come out for the developers to actually include with everything else. The way, as you saw just there, the new smart stacks are set up. I have been very impressed with how accurate and timely these have been for these last couple of betas. Definitely looking forward to this continue to improve and new features being added here. But as I stated earlier, since beta 3, battery life has been really, really good again. Finally, back on our Ultra 2. We did put it on our Series 10, and well, if you guys follow the channel and saw that video, not a big fan of the battery life on that device as it is, but hopefully this will lead to good things here. So, I'm not going to drag on and keep talking anymore. 
Download these updates. They're available if you're ready. If not, by the end of October, in probably about two weeks or so, the RC, final public release, and public release will finally be out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.